Christ. My past, and of course, Paul also is a, a murderous man, rounding up Christians, having them executed, etc. So he goes, look, all that's behind me. I'm alive in Christ now, right? The past is closed, but in Christ, the future lies ahead, and it's full of new possibilities. We can't live meaning, meaningful lives in the future if our lives are tied to the past. If we are still tied to our past failures, and by the way, successes, Sometimes it's our successes that hinder us from going forward. We get used to the success and maybe the money has flown, maybe, you know, come in and things are going well. We, we, we're living in the palace and we don't want to risk anymore. So it's not always the failures. It's all, but it, the past can be like a ball and chain. We're trying to move forward and we've got this 100-pound ball type chain to us, Right? Not very easy to do it. And so we want to move forward in God. Listen, can you think of a time when maybe your past has held you back? I was reading an article today, you know, it was about financial investing, especially for retirement and things, or, you know, financial issues, actually. You know the number one biggest regret that most people make later in life? The finances. They didn't put enough away for retirement. So I'm sharing that right tied in here because, listen, sometimes regrets hold us back. Be proactive is what I'm trying to say. Use common sense. 